Welcome everybody on this beautiful Sunday, the 13th of August in 2023. In the uh, chat, I just shared the links of uh, our groups, our replays, because we've been doing this for quite some time already. Uh, my name is Wouter, I'm your tech host uh, for today. If there are any technical challenges, send me a direct message and I'll sort you out as soon as possible. And for the introduction of today, I would love to hand it over to a beautiful host, Inken, who started all this three years ago to uh, take it further. Thank you very much, Wouter, who started all of this. We, the core team started that together. I'm so blessed and grateful to be a part of this beautiful, beautiful core family. Honestly, they enrich my life and make me so happy. And I'm really happy to see all of you today. Welcome. This is Sunday self-care moment for you, for us, for everybody who needs us. Uh, every Sunday at the same time, like Bauta said, since more than three years, we are here. We open our doors and hearts for you in order to raise your vibration, in order to inspire you, in order to empower you. And uh, each Sunday is unique. Each Sunday session is um, very special, made for you. And uh, we are blessed to have a lot of special souls joining us, co-creating with us on a regular basis, like Talita today. She is here in order to share her wisdom and gifts with you. And um, we are super grateful, really, to have this beautiful family, community, all of you, because in the end, um, it's all of us coming together in this moment and co-creating with our energy and, and just connecting and being together. And that's a beautiful thing especially in these times. Um, and that's what keeps us going, I think, <laughs> and will keep us going. So um, just for you, if this is your first time with you, you can tune into our Facebook page and you will see all the upcoming sessions. So you're always up to date, what's next? And then we have a very own YouTube channel and our master Wouter is, <laughs> is in high speed. Uh, preparing the replay for you so you will find it on on our youtube channel if you like the session and you want to re-watch it or if you missed a session and uh, you really wanted to to uh, tune in you you can always watch the replay which is a beautiful thing and like a treasure hunt that we have so we are very proud and happy about that and without further do I hand it over to Trent so he can do the intro for Talita. Talita, very warm welcome again from my side. So happy to have you with us today and I can't wait to get started. Much love. Okay, so this was a, a session that, you know, we booked several months in advance sometimes and this is one that we just weren't able to feel. It was, it was strange. It was uh, kind of slow coming together. And then uh, I connected with Talita and it was it was awesome because it was like when there's a there's a phrase that Earl Nightingale says that luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. And I feel like this session is the exact like perfect replicant replication of that or representation of that. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So we're lucky to have Talita. She's put in the work to get certifications in hypnosis. Uh, she put me through a, a trial session. It was fantastic. She's she's very well spoken. And uh, I think I think she's prepared herself for this opportunity. So we're going to be very lucky to experience uh, a great session today. So without further ado, here's Tolita. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here with me today. Uh, thank you, my friends, for coming. I welcome you to this space, as uh, Trent said and Incan said. They, they've been meeting for a while. So if anybody wanted to come back. You're more than welcome. Um, I know I've connected with most of you before. I've been here for a while, but I don't know. I don't think you guys know me that much. So my name is Talita. Uh, I live in Maryland, United States. And if you're wondering, where is my accent from? <laughs> I am from Brazil, like um, like Aduka. She's there right now, and I'm here. <laughs> um. So real quick, a little bit about me. I I thought it was very interesting what uh, Ginger said uh, on her session that she didn't believe on any of the energy stuff. And I was pretty much like her. I didn't believe on any of this. I grew up in a very strict church. And with time here in the United States, 
I've been here for about 16 years and I start not believing even in God or anything and everything kind of changed when I got my first dog and that completely changed my life. I didn't know what to do with this dog. I was scared of him and I wanted to take care of him. And my boyfriend suggests that I I start watching Caesar Milan's um he has a show about dogs and I start watching that and he talks about how en- uh, dogs communicate through energy and I was like that's bs no they don't energy thing what is that come on seriously well seven seasons later he kind of convinced me that <laughs> the energy is real and because I wanted to be a better human to take care of the dogs and now I have three yeah so I wanted to be a better human for them. I wanted to be just better and have this communication with them. I started going deeper and deeper into energy and found Mind Valley. I started doing a bunch of quests and it's been about four years that I'm on this self-developed journey and I came across hypnotherapy, something I have never thought about it in my life and I fell in love with it. And is just so amazing. I found this new passion and uh, from me going from I don't believe on any of energy from going to hypnotherapy and now going deeper into the spiritual world and using hypnotherapy to connect with guides and deep healing. So it's been an interesting journey. I do have uh, my certification from Paul McKenna uh, for you guys who are around uh, Mind Valley know him as well. And also uh, another certification with uh, Ellie Campbell, another famous hypnotherapist from UK. I guess I like the UK accent. I keep getting the UK people. (laughs) But anyways, um, thank you all again for being here. And I wanted to just explain a little bit about hypnosis real quick. We are in hypnosis a lot of our times uh, throughout the day. And if you ever been driving and you get to a place and you don't remember how you got there, that's like a state of hypnosis. And it's nothing like movies make you think that it's like, oh, I'm going to sleep or I'm going to do things that I don't want it to do. No, you're only going to be doing things that resonates with you. So a word that doesn't reno- resonate with you, you're not... is your subconscious mind is not going to accept that. So you don't need to be worried about that. You're going to do things that you don't want. (laughs) And when it's in group, it's pretty much generic for the entire group. So it will be more like pretty much like meditation, like all of you are already very familiar with. So just relax and allow my voice to guide you. And if anything that I say doesn't resonate much with you, just go with this good for you. You, your imagination can bring things up to you that is just going to make you comfortable. So I think enough about me. If you guys are, if you guys are ready, we can start. And if you feel comfortable turning your cameras off, it's, um, it's up to you if you wanted to keep it on. Either way, it's completely fine. I am going to turn my camera on so I can have this light off my face. Off, I mean, and we can start. And if you are able, if you're sitting, put your feet flat on the floor, connecting. You can start moving your body so you're comfortable on your seat. And let's take a deep breath with me in through the nose and out through the mouth. So let's start. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more time. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more time. In through the nose, out through the mouth, 
And as we gather here to come together for healing, allowing yourselves to relax. You all already know how to relax. Calling those sensations into your body now. Allowing every part of you to relax. If you hear any noises in my background, as I said, I have three dogs. Just remember, you can take that noise, being aware of it, and allowing that to go even deeper into trance and relaxation. If you do get disconnected, you wake up refreshed on your own time, so you don't need to worry about it not coming back. And as you continue to listen to my voice, allowing yourself to dive deep into your own awareness. As you keep breathing, you notice the air coming in and out of your nose. Notice the temperature, allowing that to relax even further. And if you haven't yet, you may close your eyes now, allowing your eyes to relax. Noticing the tone of my voice, being aware of your awareness, allowing me to guide you to go deeper and deeper. And we're gathering here for some healing. And you know, our body natural, our natural state is to be healed. And as example, if you hurt your finger, soon after, the body starts forming your scab. You didn't need to tell your body to do that. It knows how it heal itself on its own. So perhaps you can allow the excess worries that block this preferred healing energy to pass now. Just allow it to roll like a cloud that blocks the sun. You allow that to go because our body wants to go back to that state and be healed. And in a moment, I'm going to guide you down 12 steps. And with each number, you go deeper and deeper into relaxation. And you can imagine there is a stairs in front of you. And we count down each step, allowing you to go deeper. Twelve, beginning to feel a pleasant sense of healing and relaxation washing over you. 11, as you feel yourself stepping down to the next step, you become twice as calm as you were in the step before. 10, simply allowing the mind and body to take all the time it needs. It's perfect. Nine, I wonder if you can actually feel a sense of physical body moving down as you go down with each step. Your body tensions giving way to the ease. Eight, stepping down through another step. Seven, feeling so free and comfortable now. It's almost as if every step you descend helps you become two or three times more relaxed than you were in the step before. 
And I wonder if you just notice how nice this feels. Six. Halfway down now. Letting go a bit more. Isn't that a such good feeling? Allowing your mind and body to have this time to heal. Nothing to bother you. Nothing to do. Five. Almost there. As you step down, one more step. Feel the healing start to form in your body. Four. Stepping one more. Step down. You may notice a pleasant, dreaming-like state coming to you now or at any point in this journey. Isn't that wonderful? That dreaming feeling? And if you notice that, it's your mind and body already at work. Three. Almost there now. That's right. You're doing wonderfully. Two. Next to the last step. Perfect. Feeling twice or even three times as comfortable, calm, carefree as you were on the step before. One. Notice now where in your body do you feel the most relaxed? Is there a part of your body that feels particularly comfortable? If you'd like, allow that relaxation to spread over the rest of your body. Visualizing yourself moving in and over the organs, the cells, and every system of your body. Take all the time you'd like here to enjoy this type of experience. And as you continue to hear my voice, you allow yourself to go deeper and deeper into relaxation. There is nowhere to be. There is no place to go, just here with me and my voice. And in this state of deep relaxation, I would like to invite my guides and all of your guides, our higher selves, the archangels, creating this safe, space for us to heal. If you're familiar with your guides, you can call them by name. If you're not, just know that our guides is always present with us. Always, always guiding us. You just need to ask. So I invite them to come, creating this safe space for us now. I want you to imagine a door in front of you. Notice the color of the door. Notice the material. Is there any pattern on the door? Notice any details about this door. And as you stand right there in front, you start feeling a, fee a little bit excited, wondering what's behind the door. That's right. Feeling excited and happy to what's to come. Notice the knob of the door. As you reach, touching the knob, feeling the knob in your hands. You open the door 
and you walk through it. And that door opens up to a temple, a healing temple. And you can allow your imagination to create this space for you. Whatever you want to put in it. Just allow your mind to bring those images for you. You can have plants. You can have crystals. Anything that makes you feel comfortable and safe in this space. And as you walk in, your guides are already there to greet you, to say, welcome, we've been waiting for you, or whatever other message they have for you. Allow yourself to feel their presence now. And if you don't, it's okay. You know they're there. And as they greet you, they hand you a robe. And this is a magic robe that as you put in, it transforms into a swimming suit. You put it on and your guides start guiding you to this place. There is like a whirlpool on the ground they hold your hand and help you in as you go slowly in into the whirlpool you start feeling the water as you put your feet in first you start feeling the water it's nice and comfortable, the perfect temperature for you. The temperature that your body likes. You start going more and more. Allowing the water to start touching your body. And that brings you a feeling of relaxation even deeper now. Relaxing you even deeper now. Going in, the water is now by your waist, and you sit down comfortably. And your guide hands you a remote control. And you're going to be able to turn on the water and the bubbles in the whirlpool. And as you sit there comfortably with the remote in your hands, we call in Archangel Raphael. And he infuses the water with this green light. The green light of healing. And you see a number from one to five on your remote control. One being just a little bubble. Five being a lot of bubbles. That's the most state of healing that you can reach. And with the help of the Archangel Raphael, let's turn the knob, the remote control to number one. And you start feeling the bubbles building up from the top, from the bottom of your feet. Little bubbles. You feel the energy going up on your body, up on your body. Allow the energy to travel. That's right. And as you enjoy this session, let's turn to number two. Now feeling a little more bubbly, feeling the energy going more, moving around more and more and in your body. That's right. Feeling it deep. Allow the energy going up and down, up and down. Let's turn to number three. 
and the bubbles increase with number three more the bubbles now more and more more and more feeling feeling all around you now feeling your hands in your feet in your legs feel it all around you surrounding you feeling good and relaxed this is healing bubbles that allow your body to go back to that state your natural state of healing that's right Blessings, Chris, it one more time. Number four now. Increase it. That's right. Feel the bubbles building up more and more now. Maybe kind of tickle you a little bit. It feels good. It feels amazing. It feels so great to be in this state. Yes. Yes, that's right. It feels good. Feel the bubbles. Feel the bubbles building up. Enjoying yourself. Feeling happy and joyful for being here in this space today. That's right. And let's turn to the maximum now. That's it, guys. Let's turn it up to number five. That's right. Feeling the bubbles, more bubbles, more bubbles. Whoa. It goes up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down your body. Feel that sensation going up and down, up and down, up and down. Feel the energy all over you now. Yes, that's right. Allow it to heal. Allow your body to go back to the state of healing. That's right. Our mind is so powerful. And with the help of our guides, the help of Archangel Raphael, we can heal our body. We can heal our mind. And we can heal our soul. Feeling that bubble. That's right. Feeling the more bubble, more and more and more. Feeling it good in your body. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yes. Yes. Allow it. Allow it to go through you. As this green energy is all around you now. As you sit there feeling comfortable. Think of the thing that you need to heal right now. It can be your mind. It can be your soul. Or it can be your physical body. Think of that spot. Maybe you have one, maybe you have two, maybe you have three. One by one, put your mind's attention on that spot right now. And just like that, Raphael is giving you his light. You see that green light radiating on the spot that you need healing. Start to increase, taking over that organ, that part of your body or your mind or your spirit. Feeling this warm, good sensation in that part. Make that color bright now. Yes, make it brighter. Make it brighter. Because now we are commanding your cells, you're commanding your body, we're commanding heal. Heal. As the bright light becomes brighter and brighter, you know you're having this deep healing. And I wonder if you notice right away the difference. Or it may take you a while to notice that you already start to heal. This is already start to implement. It's just a matter of time when you're going to notice. Perhaps tonight when you go to sleep. Perhaps tomorrow when you wake up. Because we all sleep. We all wake up. And we all change. And we all heal. And with this deep knowing. Deep knowing that your healing has already started. Enjoying this sensation now. I want to invite you to bring that 
bubble to a number that is comfortable for you. It can be a five, it can be a one, it can be a three. Whatever is good for you is perfectly fine. Setting that now to the mind of bubbles that you like. Feeling the comfort of the bubbles and the energy moving through your body. As your guides are around you, celebrating with you that you are ready to start to heal. You have the power to bring your physical body to its natural state with the power of your mind and the help of the higher self, your guides, and Archangel Raphael. Enjoying this sensation, taking your time to relax even deeper now. In this place, you can come back at any time you wish. You can just guide yourself down the stairs to this healing temple in the whirlpool. Perhaps before you go to sleep, you would wish to come back. Or when you wake up, you will wish to come back on your own time. This is a place for you always feel comfortable and increase your healing abilities. And a time here, you can, it's not the same time as Earth. You can be only five minutes here, but have beautiful, beautiful healing of a longer time on Earth. This is a magical place that you created with your mind. And now you're going to come over to you and help you out of the whirlpool. As you come out, they hand you another robe as you put it on. It changes back to your clothes. And in a moment, I'm going to invite you. If there is anything left that needs healing, I want to invite you to imagine there is this balloon. It's a helium balloon right in front of you. You can give it a color of what you like, whatever color is good for you. And you start touching your body and taking anything that is still left, any tension, any ache, any thoughts that are not good for you, anything that don't belong in you anymore, anything that is not serving you anymore, and you put in the balloon. And you start filling it with air, filling it and taking all out of you, putting in the balloon. Allowing yourself to be free of those now. It's time to let go. As you put all of that in the balloon, you start filling it with helium. And that balloon is tied to your left hand. Right on your wrist. And perhaps you start feeling your arm lighter as the balloon starts to go up, up, up in the air, with everything that don't need to be in your body is now in the balloon, going up, 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 and your arm goes up as well, getting lighter and lighter, going up, up, 
And now it's all the way in the clouds. You can barely see it now. And with your right hand, you have a pair of scissors. And in a moment, not just yet, you're going to be able to cut the string that is tying the balloon to your arm. And once you do, you feel free. You feel lighter in your body, letting go of anything that no longer serves you. On a count of three, you're going to cut the balloon and let that go. One, two, three. Cut it now. As your arm goes back to its natural state, you feel the balloon disappearing into the clouds and the energy being transformed. And you can imagine turning into something beautiful or even in a cloud, like we observe drawings in the clouds, objects, animals. See it, that energy being transformed now. Feeling grateful for this experience. Feeling joyful, lighter, and with a deep knowing that you already start to heal. In a moment, I'm going to start to count you back, back through the steps. But I want to take the opportunity to thank everybody's guide and Archangel Raphael for helping us today, for being present with us to bring about this healing. As you make your way back, you're not the same person as you walk through that door. You're feeling more of happy, joyful. And throughout your day, you feel this different energy. That's right. And now you see yourself walking back to the door where you came through. And you see the stairs. And you're going to start going up. As I count from 1 to 12. You're going to wake up. And with each number you're feeling your energy coming back to your body. 1. Feeling yourself becoming alert now. 2. Becoming more awake, even hopeful for tomorrow. Three, perhaps give a wiggle to your fingers and your toes, feeling this incredible body of yours. And as you do, feel more and more awake. Four, up. Five, twice as energized now, as alert as you step up. Six. Another step, seven, feeling all the energy returning to your mind and your body. Eight, that's right. Nine, alert and activated. Wiggling those fingers and toes, move a little bit more. Move your shoulders, feeling the energy coming back to you. Ten, feeling your body, feeling every part of you, feeling your feet on the floor. Eleven, almost there. Twelve. On your own time, you may open your eyes, and when you do, feeling hopeful for this healing and life, and being happy that you are alive, being grateful for this experience, you may come back to the here, to the now. Welcome back, guys. If you have water next to you, please start drinking now.